What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm starting a new segment today on what to do with old computers that are still working. For our first episode, we're creating a home theater PC. My name is Trishan and welcome to Tech Scenes LA. If this is your first time here, consider hitting the subscribe button to see more content from us like product reviews, build guides, consumer tech and home networking. Don't forget to show some love to my vlogging channel which can be linked up there, uh, which is linked up there in the YouTube cards and it's also linked on our homepage for Tech Scenes LA. We released three videos already um, and the last video was actually the start of our 12 day journey to Cape Town. So if you want to follow me along with the, on that journey and to see what I get up to in my life, please do check that out. So this is our PC and um, it is something that's been just lying around for a while and in all honesty I had endless problems working with this thing, although it's supposed to be working. I mean the software didn't want to run, I was better off just installing Windows XP back to it and using it like that. But anyway, it is a uh, HP Compact with an Intel Pentium 4 in it and a whopping 512 megabytes of memory. We are going to be requiring a software which is Librock as well as we're going to be needing a keyboard. So because uh, this is actually going to be a home theater, I decided I'm going to use one of these keyboards and since I have so many lying around, uh, yeah, this is the one that I require, um, this is the one that I reviewed like almost a year ago. Uh, yeah, it might have been December of 2018. Yeah, that's been a long time back at the start of Tech Scene Zeri. But anyway, um, if you want to see the review of this, it is linked up there in the YouTube cards. You can go ahead and check that out. Okay, let's hop over to our browser and here we're going to type in libraf.tv and that opens up. So as you can see, you can download it in Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So I'm going to click the Windows download and save this. Well, I already have a couple saved already. But that's our download complete. Now to run our software. So for version, we're going to choose generic AMD Intel slash NVIDIA. And it's going to require an x86 motherboard. There are other versions of Libra to install. But I suggest using the most up-to-date one. So let's click download. And it's going to download the file that is going to flash our USB drive with. Okay, as you can see, download complete, um, wipe USB and wipe drive, choose yes. And writing is complete. So after you have already written to the drive and made it uh, bootable from this Libra, um, Windows may pop up that you need to format the disk uh, because it can't read it. Please do not format it because it is formatted to boot from. Alright, so now let's move on to running the installation. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is power on our PC and when it comes on, we are going to enter the boot menu. So on this PC it's actually F9, right, boot menu and F9, right, but I'm not going to go into the boot menu, I'm actually going to go into the setup and I'm going to show you what to do, right, so advanced settings, boot priority, first to boot would be the flash drive, okay, and we're going to save this, F10, save, and continue. Alright, enter. The 
PC will restart and then boot directly from the USB. Okay, so this is where the problem came in that I mentioned yesterday. I was having endless uh, hassles and the issue was that uh, I would have said this in the beginning of the video that it needs an x86 CPU. Although this Pentium 4 is an x86 CPU, um, it wasn't working but I didn't want to let you get discouraged or something like that. Maybe you have an old PC that actually works, that would work with the software. So actually what I'm going to do is install it onto my, uh, well not actually, I'm going to run it off my laptop and show you guys how to install it. So if you have an old PC, then you can do it. I shouldn't be stopping you because my um, stuff doesn't work, right? I just need to change some settings and then we will get going. Alright, so just like how you've seen before, we run into the setup. This one now will uh, enter the setup. Alright, so reboot and it's going to go straight into the to booting off the USB. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna um, run. So run installs it to the USB and it is actually described there. Uh, installer permanently installs to the hard drive. A uh, live would use the RAM as storage and run would use the USB flash drive as storage, right? So now Libra, I, I'm, I've been messing up the full name, I'm just going to call it Libra, um, has been, is now installing. So let's wait for this to finish and then I'll walk you through some other steps. So now it's actually done installing and it is, well it's not completely done, it's registering most of the stuff now. So if I haven't mentioned this already, the base platform for this um, software is Kodi and okay I'm going to show you some of the plugins and stuff now. Um, installation wizard, you can choose your language, obviously we are in English next, but well, it's not installation wizard, it's more like a setup wizard kind of thing. Change the host name. I'm going to change it to check scene. Okay, I'll just put it short form home theater PC. Right? Okay. Next, networking. Slug of Fox. Connect. Okay. I promise you, if you know who I am. Well, if, if you ever come to my home, okay, don't stalk me and come to my home, but uh, if you come to my home, I'll give you the password personally. Okay, so two services that you can also turn on, um, but I'm not going to turn it on at this point because as you can see, it's installed to my laptop, so I don't know how far, but it's, not, it's installed to the USB on my laptop. Okay, so... Um, we can go add-ons, right? These are legally sourced add-ons. As you can see, games, music, pictures, video add-ons, right? So ABC Family. Okay, 
there's a lot of stuff that you can download BCM CBC CNN Comedy Central but what we are interested in as you can see there is quite a lot of add-ons here YouTube plug in for YouTube install okay right so that's downloading the repository for uh, YouTube oh now it's actually installing it And it's going to actually install some other things that's needed for uh, YouTube to run. So if we go movies, no, I don't know where I'm going right now. As you can see, YouTube has popped up there. I mean this is just a basic installation what you can do with it is endless so I mean I'm not the best guy to teach you about this because I literally just learned about this now there are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos that you could look up I mean just google.com just search uh, Librock or, or however you pronounce that name yeah just look it up and that brings us to the end of today's video um, I'd appreciate it if you could let me know how good this video was by leaving a like rating if you did enjoy it or did find it interesting and subscribing to the channel to see more content more tech related content guys thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video